Hello, hello, what's up, Ghana? My name is Joseph King Kwan Agboko, three times world bantamweight world champion. Uh, keep watching Men's Sports TV. Keep your channel up. This Saturday, the MGN Arena would be hosting two of boxing future prospects that are going to take over boxing and take it to the next level. We would be seeing a fight between Ryan King Garcia and Giovante Tank Davis, a fight that is that is a non-title fight but promises to be a very very exciting one both men are undefeated both men have speed and both men have enough power to stop one another so it's a very very exciting fight this saturday and yours truly would be doing a live session for this particular fight so do me a favor by subscribing to Mesboss TV pressing the like button expressing your views in the comment section and also sharing on all other social media platforms and don't forget to join me on the live session now let me preview this exciting fight for you sports lovers now this fight would be exciting it can end in any round because both men have power besides the power let's look at the boxing abilities of both men Ryan King Garcia is a very good boxer but Giovante Tank Davis is a superior boxer his he has uh, uh, the boxing fundamentals uh, they come second nature to him unlike Ryan King Garcia Ryan King Garcia when fighting the South Ball with Giovante Tank Davis is he often does a lot of mistakes in his fight against Luke Campbell Luke Campbell hit him with the over right hand and that caused Ryan King Garcia a lot of problem and in that particular fight too Ryan King Garcia got up from the canvas and ended up stopping Luke Campbell and in the fight against Javier Fortuna too he did a lot of mistakes but Javier Fortuna was not the Javier Fortuna we knew who was in his prime so he could not capitalize on all those mistakes made by Ryan King Garcia his foot positioning is quite poor when it comes to south balls and secondly he has been out of the ring for a very long time in the last time Ryan King Garcia was in the ring was when he faced Ghana's very own Emmanuel the Game Boy table since then he hasn't fought and Giovante Tank Davis has been the active fighter of the two he has right he has fought and he is the man who has faced better competition but this is how I think the fight I think Ryan King Garcia should box from a distance. He shouldn't just use his jab as a range finder because Giovante Tank Davis happens to change levels during fights. And if he does that, and Ryan King Garcia is just using his jab as a range finder and doesn't have any pop behind it, then Giovante Tank Davis is not going to respect him. And Giovante Tank Davis often steps in and hits you to the belly, and that would be one of the things Giovante Tank Davis would be doing in order to take the steam out of Ryan King Garcia already there is a rehydration clause and Ryan King Garcia would be struggling so if he's able to get to Ryan King Garcia's belly that means he is taking steam out of him and Ryan King Garcia the thing he should do is despite boxing very long despite boxing very long he should mix it up with Giovante Tank Davis and he should use his feints more because Giovante Tank Davis often reacts to the feints and he often goes down then he meets him with the uppercut so and he doesn't need to lose concentration in this particular fight and with his foot positioning he is fighting an elite southpaw who is in his prime right now he is fighting elite southpaw who is in his prime I repeat that who has, who has faced better boxers than him so he needs to be on his A game throughout this fight like Joe Goosen said, his coach. Because any if he loses focus a, a millisecond, Giovante Tank Davis has power in both hands and can end the fight at any time. So he needs to faint Giovante Tank Davis more because Giovante Tank Davis, when he faints, he, he, he often changes level and he can uh, land his uppercut and he must be defensively disciplined the upright standing equity dogs Giovante Tank Davis is very fast and can close that gap in a millisecond and for Giovante Tank Davis he needs to be careful of that left hook Giovante Tank Davis often drops his hand and moves his head 
he needs to be very disciplined in keeping his hands up throughout the fight. If not, Ranking Garcia would hit him with the left hook. And Ranking Garcia has enough power, but his right hand, he doesn't use it most often, and he needs to use that in this particular fight because the southpaw killer is the ultimate straight right hand, and his foot positioning must be key for Ryan Garcia. So, if all these things are done and this fighters fight to perfection, I see this fight going about eight or nine rounds. But with Giovanni Tank Davis being the more experienced fighter, being the most composed fighter, both men are having issues outside the ring. Giovanni Tank Davis has pled guilty to Grand Theft Auto, in which he would be sentenced next month. Whilst Ken Ryan Garcia is also struggling with mental health issues. With all those things combined and with the inactivity of Ryan King Garcia, I think Giovanni Tank Davis has the ability to stop Ryan King Garcia in the ninth round. I think uh, Giovanni Tank Davis would go to the belly more, which would take the steam out of Ryan King Garcia. The, the backup defense in the straight line is a very, very dangerous thing for Ryan King Garcia in this particular fight. So my final prediction is Giovanni Tank Davis, ninth round knockout. Let me know your take on this particular fight. Comment it and like this particular video and share. Thank you. Stay positive. Remember tomorrow to join me on the live session. Au revoir. Hello, hello, what's up, Ghana? My name is Joseph King Kwanagoko, three times world bantamweight world champion. Uh, keep watching Men's Sports TV. Keep your channel live.